enter the stars. And this is unbelievable because I believe that we just found the basis by which the entire internet was designed. This is ancient Egypt, and this is the goddess Neet. But her name is also Net, like the internet. And she was the ancient Egyptian goddess of spiders and weaving and the loom, just like the internet. In fact, she was considered the priestess who opens the good pathways. We know when there's a web address or a file, there is a path to that file. Now, we've talked a lot about ancient Egypt and the address or headdress of the Sphinx. And we told you that the ancient Egyptians had to have their posts marked during the last plague before the Israelites were let go by the Pharaoh. And if their posts were not marked, just like in the male system, if their posts were not marked with the blood of the lamb, then their firstborn would be slain. And this is all about the web address as well as your physical address. This is how they maintain control. Now here's where things get very interesting because they talk about her being the feminine of Wepwawet, WWW. Wepwawet we've talked a lot about because he was the jackal god and we compared him to Obama. He is the god of war. And Obama said, we will rebuild, we will come back stronger. We will remember. He put that on the 114th or 104th floor of the new Freedom Tower. He wrote that on a beam. And when you take Wepowet's symbol, have him on a skyboat, and you flip it upside down, it looks exactly like Obama's signature. We did a full video on Wepowet and the WWW and what that means. And now we have a direct link to this mother of the web, this goddess of the web, because she is the doublet of Wepowet. Here they showed again the main imagery of Neith as WPW3WT. That's Wepowet was as deity of the unseen and limitless sky. Net also represented the vault of the entire sky, the entire ecliptic of the sky. That was how she was personified. And that fits right into the World Wide Web. It's the World Wide Web. And that is what she represented. I believe that they borrowed or copied all of the elements from Wepowet and Net so that they could develop the paradigm for the World Wide Web. We previously talked about Apep and Ra, and I told you that Wepowet was Ra. Now we're being told here that Net is the mother of Ra. But here is the crazy part. We covered Apep, and I told you that Apep sounded like App like a phone app. So now we're getting all of this overlay of this mythology from ancient Egypt to our modern times that nobody's aware of. We went on to show you that the Apep was the snake eating its tail. That is the personification of Apep. And it's basically taking up all your time. And that's exactly what these apps do. Everything in life is an app now, it seems. The way they maintain control of you is with your physical address. And now they have your material address, which is your home address. And they also have their version, 
of your spiritual address, which is their World Wide Web, the Ether. Now, Net was said to reweave the world on her loom daily. A loom is used to make a web of fibers like carpets and sheets and things like that. And so now you see all the juxtapositions of the internet. Now what the other thing is that they show her with this cobra of Wajit. It's right here on the center of her pineal gland. What does this mean? What it really means is they want to control your pineal with darkness instead of the light. Christ said the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eye is single, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is dark, your whole body will be full of darkness. You don't believe me? She also carried the Ankh. The Ankh is representative of the thoracic vertebrae of your spine. Don't believe me? Look it up. The Ankh, it says here, is the thoracic vertebrae of your spine. This is it here, and it is representative of the thoracic vertebrae of your spine, as it says right here. Some of these gods and goddesses also carried the Jed, D-J-E-D-D, -D, which represented the sacrum of your spine. This is all about Kundalini and the serpents rising up through your spine and into your pineal gland. This is being full of darkness. This is not good. Take care and be safe, you guys.